Well, hey, 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 good looking. You want to see what we have cooking today in my kitchen? Well, go ahead and grab a hold of that vine and swing on in my kitchen and let's get cooking. Good looking. Happy Halloween, everybody. And in the spirit of Halloween, I want to sit there and show you just how easy it is to make a nice little sweet surprisingly uh, treat for everybody to come home at the end of trick or treat. Maybe you might want to serve everybody up bat wings. You know everybody would love to have a good bat wing. I know bat wings are a hard commodity to come by here and let me tell you they are so scrumptiously good. I'm so excited to get started on Bloody Mary's bat wings. So what we're going to be needing is some chicken wings. You're going to need some black and some red gel food coloring. And what my one your sister friend would sit there and say, what's this heel sauce? You're going to be needing some Worcestershire sauce. You're going to be needing some Bloody Mary mix. And I can these up. Here's another one of my Bloody Mary mixes. And you're going to be needing some Frank's Red Hot sauce. And you're going to be needing yourself an injector. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up my Frank's Red Hot Sauce. Alright, I have my bottle of Frank's Red Hot Sauce. I'm just going to put the chicken off to the side. We're going to bring a bowl in. I'm going to open up the bottle of the Frank's Hot Sauce. We're going to pour the whole bottle into a glass container or whatever container you, you wish to use now you're going to be wanting to add a half a teaspoon of what's this here sauce or wish desire sauce And let's go ahead and give that all a good mix. Take your black food coloring and you're going to want at least a half of a tablespoon for 12 ounces. Now if you were going to be using two of the bottles of the Frank's Red Hot Sauce, I would go ahead and use one tablespoon of the black gel food coloring. Wow, talk about cutting it close. <laughs> so I'm going to add the last little bit will clear it off with a spoon. Now go ahead and mix all that black food coloring into the Frank's Red Hot Sauce here. I'll be back with you as soon as I get it all incorporated. Now let's say that you're not fortunate to have black gel food coloring in your pantry. No problem. Go ahead and get red, which most of us have red in our pantries. Most of us have blue and most of us have green. Mix them up and you'll get black. Just in case it's not black enough and it's a little gray looking, 
trust me, you're going to want this to be black. So I'm going to add a little bit of the red, blue, and green food coloring to this because I want mine to be a little bit more blacker than what's showing up here. Not much, just a tad darker. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mix a little bit of the three food colors I just told you about. And I'll be back as soon as I get done mixing all these colors into my little Frank's Red Hot Mixture. Now let's bring back the chicken wings back into the picture. Let me just move things around a little bit. Here are our chicken wings. And now I'm going to go ahead and get out a shallow baking dish and I'm going to sit there and put the wings all in that and then we're going to sit there and pour the black Frank's uh, red hot sauce over the top of the chicken. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the Frank's Red Hot Sauce and we're going to sit there and pour that all over the chicken here. Sorry about that. Had to take that phone call. It was the hubby and I haven't spoken to him for a while. So, yeah, I had to take it. So now, go ahead and coat these up evenly. You want all sides of your wings to be coated in the very beginning. I should have had a little bit bigger of a container but I don't so I'm going to continue to flip these all over until they're all evenly coated I brought out a different con or another container just to take a few of them out just to make sure the rest of them are all evenly coated now I'm going to put them back inside the container that I did bring out and try to fit them all back in there. And now, what you're going to want to do for the first three hours, every 30 minutes, you're going to have to come back and flip these all over and redistribute them to make sure that each and every one of them is going to be taking on this black coloring. Now, I'm going to sit there and get all this goodness out of the, the one dish that I had set off to the side. And go ahead, pour some of that sauce over the top 
of all these. And now I'm going to sit there and take these over to the fridge. And 30 minutes from now, I'm going to bring these back out. And I'm going to sit there, flip them over on the other sides. Sit there, make sure each one is evenly coated like I just did here. Put them back into the fridge for another 30 minutes. And we're going to keep doing that repeatedly for the first three hours. Then after that, every hour, we're going to come back for the remaining three hours and flip them. So, for the first three hours, every 30 minutes, we're going to have to flip them. For the remaining three hours that they're going to be sitting in this, we're going to flip them for an hour. I hope I made that clear. With the magic of video, voila! Here's our chicken wings six hours later. Remember, the first three hours, every 30 minutes, we flipped them. And then the last three hours, every hour, we flipped them. So here we are. This is the end results. I put them down inside of a pan. Now I'm just going to sit there and take this and set this off to the side. We set our chicken or our bat wings off to the side. Get yourself out a saucepan. Go ahead, grab yourself some Bloody Mary mix. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to open mine up. And we're going to pour it all in. And now we're going to take this over to the stove. And we're going to sit there and bring it up to a, a boil. And also, we're going to sit there and put some cornstarch in here. And we're going to make a cornstarch slurry. And we're going to add that to the Bloody Mary mix here to help thicken it up. And we'll be bringing it back. And we'll take it from there. Here I have the cornstarch in. Now I'm going to sit there and add just a tad bit of water. And we're going to mix the cornstarch all up. Make sure it's all evenly dissolved. And also you get that last little bit of goodness that's left over inside the Bloody Mary jar. And now go ahead and add that. And now I'm going to take this all over to the stove. And we're just going to thicken this up a bit. I'll be back as soon as this is all thickened up to my liking. Alright, as you see, mine is nice and thickened up. That's how I want yours to be. Now, I might have to strain mine through because I see I have some uh, jalapenos and some celery and all that yet. There are some chunks, as you can see here. I don't know if the camera's going to be picking it up. But there's a hunk of jalapeno. Now, I'm going to sit there and run mine through the sieve and I'm going to remove all them particles. As you see, I put the strain stuff in the bowl here. Here on my strainer is all the particles that I strained off and there's some little extra sauce in the saucepan here. So I'm just going to set the saucepan 
back over on the stove and get that out of our way. Now this we're going to put here. And now <laughs> comes the fun part. You're going to want to sit there and add a good dollop or two of the red gel food coloring. And I do mean be generous because we want this to replicate blood. I mean, do you see that big gallop? That's what I want you guys to have. Let me grab the spoon over here. Uh, let me just go get a different one. Okay, now we're going to sit there and mix this all up. Yeah, that's what I like to see. I want it to look like blood. So make sure you get all that food coloring mixed in good. Does that look good? Okay, let's just set that off to the side. And now get your syringe out and get it all set up. I have to put my needle and stuff all on, so I'll be with you in a minute. Now take your syringe over to your blood and I'm going to give this one last stir to make sure we have everything all mixed up. And now, fill your syringe up with your blood. Okay, now I'm going to grab the plunger. I'm going to put it down on the inside. And again, I'm working around the camera. I'm going to grab my tray of the bat wings. So. Okay, nothing's going to be easy, I see. Now, one thing about your blood, please make sure that it's not really piping hot. And also, you want to sit there and allow your chicken wings to somewhat come up to room temperature. You want your sauce also to be somewhat at room temperature before we start injecting. You don't want to sit there and inject a hot liquid inside the cold bat wings. You're going to want everything to kind of be the same temperature. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go and grab a Ziploc baggie. I'm all out of uh, gloves right now, so I'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead, grab one of the bat wings. And we're just going to start injecting the blood all in. All right, I have my oven preheated at 375, and now we're going to bake these for 45 minutes. 
I'll see you when these are all done baking. Come on. I know you're hungry for a bat wing. Everybody loves bat wings. Especially when you make them as good as this one. Well, let's give this one a taste test. Okay, well, I got my bat wing here, and I'm just going to tear right into it. Looks pretty good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. I think I'm going to dip it in the special sauce back here. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Bye. I got some bat wings I want to eat. Mmm. Bat wings are good. You should give bat wings a try. They're really good. Now, be sure to hit the like button. Y'all come back now. Happy Halloween. Bloody Mary, you make one hell of a bat wing. It's like a bat out of hell. Now, if you liked what you saw here today in my bat wings, go down, hit that like button. Go up above, if you're not already a subscriber to my channel, hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. Tap that little bell, that way you always be notified every time I do put out a new video. And most of all, I want to wish you all Happy Halloween. Y'all come back now, you hear? Now who can I interest into a bat wing? 